All right, good evening. Um, I'm Mark. And I'm Russ, and this is a Spirited Endeavor. Yeah, to, uh, tonight we're going to uh, explore a really interesting one. Uh, it's one that I've had on my shelf here for a little bit. It's a Glen Goyne, and I hope I'm not murdering that. Um, it is a, uh, it's a Highland Scotch, 43% uh, alcohol by volume, aged 12 years. Together with bourbon cast, they spend the next 12 years within the cool dark of our traditional earth floored warehouses. Here, time and wood work together. The golden color develops along with a perfect balance of oak and sweetness. Interesting. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier that this is non chill filtered, non -chill -filtered. and no color added. So that should tell you something. I mean, if you look at the color on this, this is natural. So that is impressive for natural color. Yeah, it's a beautiful amber color. It really is. Yeah. I mean, normally you would expect something like that to be almost clear. The fact that it's got some color in it tells you something about the barrels they're using. Absolutely. And that's a Highland. Um, I'm really excited. You know, we, uh, we've we tried yeah. a few Highlands before. Um, certainly, uh, um, you know, we've not been disappointed by, you know, most of them. I would agree with that. You know, the, uh, the Highlands are, uh, are certainly different from Space Sides, certainly yeah. different from um, uh, Islas or the uh, the outer islands uh, lowlands mm -hmm. um, we'll have some we got to do some lowlands coming up yeah. um, at some point That'll be but hard. um uh, the highlands are are just unique um, they're usually butterscotchy right. and uh, citrusy and um, uh, they don't use a lot of peat and a lot of smoke in them although there's been a few exceptions to that yeah i mean when i think of highland i figure that's what most people are familiar with when it comes to scotch um, most people, you say Highland, they're going to know exactly what you're talking right off the bat. Most of the common whiskeys that you run into at a bar or something like that are going to be Highlands, Glenlivet being one of them. Um, for me, the disappointing aspect of the Highlands has been that a lot of what they're putting out there is for mass consumption. Right. They are chill filtered, um, and you they don't really stray too much generally from that what you typically get with the Highland, which is, like you said, the, the vanilla, the sweetness, that sort of thing. This one being non-chill filtered, no color added, I really, I'm hoping this is something different. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, and, and Russ is absolutely right. You know, um, when you get into like the Islas and some of the islands, you know, they really, really, um, you know, they, this is where you're going to find the more artisanal and these are more traditional. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, I'm really excited to try this one. Yeah, me too. All right, well then let's get to it. I think I'm also gonna do the uh, the drop of water in this uh, after we That's try it. That's a good idea. Well, especially with the non-chill filtering. Oh, I bet there's something behind it that the water will bring forward. All right, let's do a decent pour then. Really nice color. Again, for natural coloring, that is absolutely gorgeous. Interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got great glass cling. It Look really at that. does. That really just clings to the glass and wow. just stays there. So this one's gonna linger on the palate. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm expecting a fair amount of sweetness with this one. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I imagine it's gonna have some citrus flavors. It's gonna have yeah. butterscotch, vanilla. Um, it's gonna have those, uh, those notes, probably a little oakiness on the back end. Yeah, and I mean, look, I'm not bashing Highlands, but that's the first Highland I've ever had that looks like that in a glass as far as just the cling. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right. Ooh, like the nose on that. Very butterscotch. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a butterscotch. I mean, I, that's um, little little vanilla in that caramel notes, toffee notes. And the there really isn't any sort of alcohol vapor to speak of. I no. mean, you can put your nose right in that glass and take a whiff, and yeah, there's, there's no there's no burn, burn, nothing, nothing. Um, I'm wondering what the spiciness is going to be like on this one. I'm oh. curious about that too. What the barrels imparted? My my guess is we're not going to get a lot of spice on this, but when we add a drop of water, then it's going to bring it out. I bet you're right. Yeah. Okay, because it's going to bring the oils right up to the surface, and you're going to get that palate cling, and it's going to bring out some different notes. Yeah. And a single drop of water can make a huge difference. Well, again, with this one being non-chill filtered, I would fully expect it. All right. Hmm. It is a little spicy. Yeah, the oak influence is definitely there. Mm. It's it's tannic. It's, uh, you know, in one of our other reviews, we were talking about how sometimes it leaves your mouth a little dry. 
I could see this one doing that. Yeah, this is uh, this is a drier Ooh. whiskey. Um, but there is definitely a wine type of influence to this. It's the sherry cast. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, there's a good balance between them, though. You really do get the vanilla and then that fruitiness. And the fruitiness, the, yeah. You sort of like the uh, the dark fruits, you know, cherry, yeah. uh, plum. No, that's you're absolutely right. Mm. Definitely the darker fruits. Hmm. It is a sweeter whiskey. There's no doubt about it. Um, and there is a bit of spice to it from the oak, but I don't find that to be off-putting in this case. I don't think it's too lopsided or heavy-handed. Mm. It isn't a sherry bomb, but the sherry's definitely there. Yeah, it's sh sh sherry influence for sure. Yeah, um, I'm not sweet. getting a, I'm not getting a lot of alcohol burn on this no, one. No, none. A little spiciness, and that's kind of in the the mid the mid palate. Agreed. Yeah, and that's that to me comes across as being that oak. Uh, but yeah, I would agree wholeheartedly. There really isn't much of any alcohol burn to this whatsoever. It's a very nice, sweet, easy sipping whiskey, I think. Yeah, this certainly fits within what I would consider the model for a, for a Highland. Yeah, I would, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'd put this above pretty much any other Highland I've had to date, um, at least that I can think of. Just mm -hmm. in that I like the fact that it offers something beyond just the typical vanilla. Right. I like that little bit of the dark fruit going with it. Yeah, absolutely. A uh, little citrus notes maybe yeah. right up front, but um, uh, but but that's kind of muted. I really can't pick up that, you know, sort of that sweetness on the back, that fruity sweetness on the back end. Yeah, I'm getting that just a little bit of like that citric acid feel on the side of my tongue. Yeah. Um, not necessarily any citrus taste, but just that kind of feeling that goes with a little bit of citric acid. Yeah. Not much. Yeah, like if you added like a little lemon to your water, right? And you get that, you get that tingle, yep. you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. That is very pleasant. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm curious. I bet it, I bet it spices it up nicely. Thank you, sir. All right. So that was a drop. So earlier on the nose, definitely got the vanilla, definitely got the sherry. Same thing on the on the taste. It didn't didn't change the nose all that much. Maybe enhances it just a little bit with the uh, with the vanilla. Yeah, I would agree. The nose really hasn't changed for me. Not necessarily a bad thing. Question is, what do we get? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. <coughs> wow. That changed it completely. Yeah, it did. So um, I'm not getting the upfront cit um, citrus. Agree that. I'm much not getting that anymore. And then it, it kind of gets you on the back end now. Oh, it does it. Oh. <laughs> and it brought out some of the alcohol vapors, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a completely different animal on the finish. Just a single drop of water. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. One drop of water. The spice kicked up a little bit on the back end. Um, the citrus. I agree wholeheartedly. That is gone at this point. Still get the sherry influence with the darker fruits and whatnot. And you get the vanilla, but I think the oak is now moved forward. Where that's the. That's really what draws your attention. I would really like to put a drop of water in it and just like let it sit for half an hour. I agree. I agree. It's um Yeah, I don't know that I'd do ice with it necessarily. Um maybe a stone or something like that. St right. Um a drop or two of water and just let it sit like you said see what that does with it a little chill yeah a little chill on that would be kind of nice I think so but um i would i don't know if i would change the flavor on that but the the chill itself will give it a different oh, especially on a summer night man yeah. that'd be nice mm. that is a find mm -hmm. i agree that's a really good find i like that one it's um I'm not big on the sherry bombs. I enjoy them, but it's not something I drink often. It's just a bit much for me. This one strikes a pretty good balance, actually. 
Yeah, I think so. And uh, and you're right. I like the sherry influence, but when you get a big sherry bomb where it's all you know, yeah. um, you know, dark fruit and um, you know, really whiny. Yeah, it's a um, bit much. I think. So, yeah, it can be. It can be a bit yeah. much, but um, uh, certainly, you know, we've seen. You know, we've had some sherry influenced that have been fantastic. We've had some sherry bombs that have been fantastic too. Yeah, agreed. But um, but but somehow, you know, I think uh, a little restraint on that is is more to my palate. Yeah, I think, in my opinion, just based on personal taste, this is about as much sherry influence as I like. This is towards the high end of what I'm looking for. Um, Honestly, they could have scaled back the sherry just slightly, and I might have been even happier with it. But I'll be honest with you, it's a really good good mix. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. I might so have to go looking for one of those. One to five. What do you think? This one, I think I'm going to give it a three and a half. Um, I put it a little above some of the other ones that we've run into, but I don't think it's going to be a favorite. Just a nice option. Um, it's, it's a good casual sipper, I think. It's not something that I'm going to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out. It's pretty upfront with what it is. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think three and a half is about the right call on this one. I would have loved to have put this in our cask. I agree. That actually would have been a very good fit. This would have been a fantastic fit into the cask. Well, especially when you consider the flavor neat, where we really didn't have that oak spice. So you could actually put it in the cask and part a little bit and get a little bit more character to it. I Not bet it would have bring, brought the vanilla up a little bit and probably pushed the sherry back. For sure. And uh, for those mm. that don't understand, we've, uh, we've, uh, we bought an oak barrel, um, a small oak barrel, five liter, and we filled it with what we consider, you know, with our, um, our flavor palette. Mm -hmm. We wanted something that was well-rounded, had just a little bit of peat, a little bit of smoke. Um, uh, we we used uh, Glen Morangy as our base, yeah. and I think if I were to replace the Glen Morangy with this, I, I think that would have been a good one. I think this would have been a good uh, good alternative. I think you're right. I think a little time with this and an oak cask would probably do wonders for it. Like I said, drop the sherry back a little bit, bring some more oak to it, and I bet neat it would be absolutely perfect. Really, I'm impressed. That's yeah. of the Highlands I've had. I would have to put that up towards the top of the list, if not the top so far. Yeah, absolutely. I really well, enjoyed it. Yeah, we had, this was a fun one. Yeah, I like that. Thanks for bringing it to the table. My pleasure. Good find, man. All right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, uh, this was uh, this us. was a lot of fun. Yeah, and please, if you're. Uh, you know, let us know what you're drinking. You know, we want to under, you know, if you have any recommendations and everything, just send them in. And uh, remember, this is a spirited endeavor, so it doesn't necessarily have to be scotch. Exactly. Yeah, we're open to pretty much anything. And look us up on Facebook. Uh, again, a spirited endeavor. And uh, we look forward to seeing you.